All right, so maybe you guys are like me. Maybe a little less hair, few less tattoos, but you're very similar to me. You four valve swapped your 94 to 04 Mustang GT. What a tremendous moment. We all love the four valve motors, all aluminum. Some of them came with forged crank, forged internals. Some of them came supercharged like the SVT Cobras, but you did it. Your four valve swapped your Mustang that came with that rinky dink two valve motor. Then it blew the hell up. <laughs> now, what do you do? In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to two valve swap your four valve swap Mustang GT. So let's get into today's video well I know what most of you guys are saying why the hell if you went through all the work of putting a four valve motor into your Mustang GT why would you go back to a two valve motor and the very simple answer is these motors are damn expensive <laughs> I've already went through three of these and each time I believe the motor was between the cheapest one was the oldest 94 Lincoln Mark 8 that was about 800 bucks the most expensive was about 1200 bucks I'm not even talking about the motor itself being expensive. The issue is they are extremely hard to find nowadays because everyone is doing this swap. Uh, secondly, aftermarket parts for these things are way more expensive than the two valve motors. And thirdly, I know this is gonna piss a lot of people off, stock four valve to stock two valve. You really can't feel the difference when you're in the driver's seat, you really can't. Now, if you're gonna boost these motors, I believe the four valve motor on 10 pounds of boost and a two valve motor on 10 pounds of boost the four valve motor is going to make more horsepower per psi or you would say more horsepower per upgrade but we did not come here for that in this video you came here to figure out you already blew up your four valve motor that you swapped into your two valve car how the hell do we go back to two valve now that's what we're going to cover right now all right now quick little overview of the car um, other than the motor used to be a four valve, now it's a two valve. We have a Scotty D angle kit on it because this car is for drifting. If you look inside, pretty much your run of the mill, beat up, new edge Mustang GT. Nothing too spectacular in here. And um, the body is pretty beat. Like I said, it's for drifting, but pretty healthy two valve motor, brand new gearbox, Scotty D angle kit. And Upgraded radiator, nothing too special. Car, it definitely drifts. Now, before I show you guys the motor closed up, I know what you guys are gonna say. Most of you guys are going to say, dude, that motor is freaking dirty. You should clean it. Go clean your living room. That's what to clean. Go clean your mummy room. Don't worry about my engine. <laughs> All right, guys, this was so simple for me to do because I understood the difference between the two valve and the four valve motors and it really wasn't that hard if you see this electrical connector right here this is really what made this swap so easy if you swapped out your two valve motor to put in a four valve motor and you adjusted your wire harness for the four valve motor the easiest thing for you to do when you get another two valve motor is to find it um, out of a Mustang or to buy a Mustang wire harness for a two valve so that you can swap in the two valve with a factory clean harness. That is exactly how I did it. So I pulled my four valve motor out, all of the motor mounts bolted right up, clutch, flywheel, pressure plate, everything bolted right up to the two valve motor. So you don't have to swap absolutely anything. You don't need anything off of your four valve motor to run this two valve motor again. The issue would come in is with wiring. You would have to reverse your coil unplug wiring. You would have to adjust the injector harness. You would have to adjust the TPS. Um, you would have to adjust the air intake. All of this stuff you'd have to adjust if you mess with your four valve harness. But if you just swap in a two valve harness, you are good to go. You can use whatever radiator comes in the car. Airflow meter came from a two valve. So everything is pretty much stock. The only difference is this one has a BBK Power Plus throttle body and a CNL upper intake and everything else is pretty much bone stock lightweight flywheel clutch pressure plate and a brand new gearbox and I do mean brand new it's a brand new gearbox from Ford uh, barely has any miles on it and essentially this swap is so easy because these motors come in the car now if you think about the four valve motor you have to rework your entire exhaust you gotta buy either Cobra exhaust or something that works with the car. I had to go through making my own exhaust for this thing. So it's much easier to run a motor that actually came in the car. 
and like I said, it might piss a lot of guys off, but power-wise, there really is not much difference between a bone stock two valve and a bone stock four valve motor. Now for the real question. If you guys ask me if I care or not that there's a four valve or a two valve motor in the car, obviously I do care. I do want a four valve motor in this car, but like I said, I destroyed three of them. So I was like, God damn it. I had a two valve motor sitting in the shop, ready to go. Let's throw it in. Let's make sure the car can move and drift under its own power instead of waiting on the next four valve motor. I haven't even dived into what's really wrong with the next motor. All I knew is that it lost oil pressure, made one knock. I think it's knocking on one of the connecting rod bearings, but who knows? Like I said, I didn't check yet. And um, I wanted to continue driving the car to get used to the angle kit because it makes the car totally different uh, compared to stock. And I need to learn how to drift. So that's how come we swapped a two valve motor back into it. But yes, I'm still favoring the four valve motors. They sound better, they look better, they produce more horsepower per upgrade. So they are the better motor, but they are more expensive as well. If I was to spin a bearing or destroy this motor, it would be quite easy for me to go find another two valve compared to finding another four valve motor. So that's enough talking. Let me show you guys how good this car runs. from the exhaust but that's just until it warms up I uh, I welded up the exhaust myself and it has a few leaks so <laughs> that's kind of why that's happening As you guys can see, this thing is running very quiet, very stable. Uh, I've had no issues with it so far, and uh, it's been an absolute blast to drive. Hopefully, it stays together, because I'm tired of working on this car all day and night. <laughs> Alrighty, now it is time to show you guys what this beautiful car is good for.
Yeah, I think we can officially say this thing is running like an absolute dream. As you guys can see, this thing just works. No lie, this two valve motor is running like an absolute beast. No oil issues, no cooling issues. I don't have any leaks whatsoever. You know, when you run these things hard, the cap spits out a little bit of that coolant just to relieve the pressure from the system. Other than that, no oil leaks, no coolant leaks. And I definitely need myself a set of tires. These things are absolutely short all around, front and back. So. That's why it sounds like the car was skating in the video. Smooth as hell. I'm definitely not driving on those anymore. But once I get some tires, it'll definitely be the best time to put this car to the test. But like I just showed you guys, if you four valve swap these things and you mess your motor up, man, find yourself a cheap two valve motor, a Mustang harness for it, or hopefully it comes with one and just bolt the thing back in same mounts clutch pressure plate everything this thing just works alrighty guys and there you have it if you guys have already four valve swapped your Mustang and that engine blows you can always swap a two valve back into it so very easily you just need to make sure you have the two valve harness and all the motor mounts from the four valve all the flywheel clutch and pressure plate from the four valve as well can swap right over onto the two valve and you can have your car up and running for very very cheap these two valve motors go from anywhere between 400 and 800 bucks on ebay and facebook marketplace so you can't go wrong with picking yourself up a two valve motor if you're in the process of building your four valve motor or if you just blew up your four valve motor and looking for a replacement and that is how you two valve swap a four valve swapped mustang gt thank you guys so much for watching this video also if you guys like content like this make sure to check out this video right here and i'll catch you guys on the next one